Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming with more Plague Inc. Evolved custom scenarios. We're gonna go for one more coronavirus based scenario today and then we'll probably stop there but again because it is such a hot topic and so many people are coming up with new scenarios based around this very real issue uh, I just kind of want to see what the community is coming up with. Now this next scenario is not as highly rated and I suspect that's because it's gonna take things in a very different direction. It's gonna be a little less realistic and a little bit more wacky I think. That's, that's the impression that I got. We're gonna find out for a second, though. This one's by X Hero TV. The coronavirus is currently going around the world, and now it is in Palg Inc. 2. Can you destroy humanity with this new disease? There are multiple endings, and more updates will be added in the future. All right, that sounds kind of fun. Now, before people start accusing me of trying to profiteer off of a tragedy, just understand that I, I, apparently this is considered to be too sensitive of a topic for YouTube, so I get demonetized right away. So I'm not really making any money off of this, and now that I know YouTube is flagging it that way, I will be you know, honest and flag it preemptively myself so they understand that that's what I'm doing. So that's not what this is about. This is more just trying to engage with what the community finds to be uh, very engaging right now. And also, you know, maybe bring some awareness to the issue. Uh, not that I think people aren't aware of it already, but I mean, <laughs> it's probably worth it. So this is a necrovirus. Interesting choice here. It's called Corona by default, which is a pretty terrible beer. Um, necrovirus, really. So where is this going to go, I wonder? This is what I'm wondering if the reason it's kind of got a lower rating of only three stars is maybe this is going to go in a completely fictional direction. Not that they're not fictional to begin with, but you, you get the idea. Suspension of disbelief and all that. Coronavirus detected in China. The coronavirus is spreading slowly and isn't that deadly if you are a healthy person, unhealthy person. The reason why people died from the coronavirus is because they were old or weakened from another disease. That is actually true. Uh, the death toll is up to a few hundred at this point, but like 20 some thousand have been confirmed sick in China, I believe it is. Most of the people who have died are not because the disease is particularly deadly, but because they had some other pre-existing condition or they were old and weak, and that's sort of the issue there. Again, like I said in the last time we did the coronavirus scenario, uh, the biggest thing right now seems to be disruption, like 50 million people quarantined and getting welded into their houses and whatever, uh, whatever else. That seems to be the biggest issue, is there's huge disruptions. But as far as diseases go, it's not that it's actually that deadly, it's mostly that people don't know how it's spreading, or they don't know how to stop it from spreading. That's where people are scared and where it can get out of control. And understandably so, I am not at all trying to uh, downplay this. Now, we have some interesting transmissions. First off, let me just note we have max severity at the beginning of the game, which is an interesting choice from the author's perspective because uh, we're starting the scenario with the world already very aware of the scenario, which makes sense. It's kind of like, uh, if, we, if I play the scenario today with 50 million people already quarantined and everyone very much aware of the scenario, where would I go from there? That's what it's kind of doing, and I like that. Random thing, this does nothing? Well then why is it here? Zoonotic shift, genetic shift in the virus for mutation chance and cross-species infection, sounds pretty helpful. Water, good for the ship transmission, okay, we also have air, blood, and segmented genome. Nothing particularly good in China though, which is a little disappointing. Uh, let's go for the water, I suppose. I mean, you're never really going to go wrong with that, I guess. Symptoms, we have a headache, and then we have insomnia, so people are less productive. Also, another random thing that does nothing, too. Again, why is it there, and why does it cost me 5 DNA? We have our cold, heat, and drug resistance. We also have symbiosis, so it's less likely to be noticed, but to be honest, I don't see how much that's going to affect me. And then we have viral instability. Neither of these are default to the necrovirus. Um, I am assuming that at some point we're going to be able to transport across a different... Um, islands and stuff with the zombie hordes effectively. I assume that's going to happen, but I don't know for sure. Let's go for some air transmission. Let's go for the zoonotic shift that unlocks insects, bats, which are good for pretty much just infectivity across the board, rodents, and birds. We're going to go for the rodents just for the extra urban transmission in China. They are already working on a cur uh, cure, which makes perfect sense. Let's go for the bats for even more infectivity. And we do seem to have a very high infection rate. We are traveling very, very quickly across other countries, across land borders, across uh, planes and stuff. Now, one thing that's funny to me, I say funny, I mean, again, it's hard to say funny when I know this is a tragic situation. Again, I'm not trying to make light of that. But because some of my people at my uh, at my work, some of my coworkers are aware that I do Plague Inc. on my channel, they were asking me, as a uh, sort of pandemic expert at this point, like, what do we really have to be worried about? And what I was telling them is as soon as we see that things are crossing land borders, we need to be worried. It's one thing when you see people are getting sick in, let's say, the USA, but every single one of them have been to China in the last couple of weeks. Like, that makes sense. If we start seeing it pop over the land borders unexplained, that means it's infect other animals. And once it infects other animals, it's a lot harder to deal with a disease. So that's what you have to be worried about. 
Let's go for insomnia, reducing productivity. Then we have coughing. Chance of infection due to the spreading of the pathogens in the area, especially in particularly densely populated urban areas. Good in China, we'll do that. Sweating, good for the cold countries, I like that idea. Then we have sneezing, again, no problem. We're already at max severity, so as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't really hurt me too much to go ahead and just build up on the severity at this point. My real concern is whether or not we are going to have the ability to travel across to other countries, because otherwise, I look at places like New Zealand and think we might be in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Uh, let's go for some more cold resistance, try to spread faster in places like Russia, which we are making some progress right now, but almost everyone has shut down their planes, uh, their ports, their airports, etc. That is what happens when you have maximum severity. So we're not going to be able to actually spread very, very quickly. Now, we did just evolve pulmonary fibrosis, which gives me some level of lethality. Uh, pulmonary edema, fever, okay. I mean, uh, lethality is okay, but again, with this, this much severity, how are we going to get around? Like, we're, we're running out of gas. They're working on the cure very quickly. I don't really have anything else to use. Uh, the UK just executed people who were infected with the corona. That just seems extremely mean-spirited. We're actually not successfully infecting anyone. We're dying too fast, which is interesting. Are we dying too fast ever, everywhere else, too? No. So we've lost our infectivity here in the UK. Um, I don't know what they think we're supposed to do. What's this? Cannibalism? Maybe that could be helpful. I mean, drug resistance is what I'm going for right now. I need to be infecting places like India a lot faster if we want to have a chance. I'm a little concerned that this is going to turn out to be a very unbalanced scenario. And that may be why it has only three stars. We're about to find out. Oh, and the genome got fully sequenced. That's unfortunate for me because it means they're going to cure me a heck of a lot faster. Yeah, we are completely out of gas. Um, hmm. Well, <clears throat> this is a bit of a problem. Um, there's fever, okay. I mean, a little bit of extra lethality is certainly going to help. Cannibalism is what I really want to go for. Anything that gets me uh, the ability to travel out of this country and continue spreading and infecting is really what I need. Um, if I go on polydary edema, no. Paranoia, no. That's not going to do me a lot of good. More infectivity there won't do me any good either. Um, more lethality is not helpful. We really need to go for things like cannibalism. For that, though, I need a lot more DNA, and they're 80% done with the cure, which means I'm pretty sure we're not going to get it. So I could try it again and focus on getting things like cannibalism a heck of a lot sooner, and maybe that's the way to go. Let's try it, but this may actually just be a very unbalanced scenario with that max severity. And uh, it's not really winnable right from the get-go. That's entirely possible. We're going to find out. All right, let's go for things like the air and the water. Let's do that one again. Um, let's go for the insomnia and the coughing. Okay, just trying to build up a little bit faster before they uh, get me out of uh, China. Let's go for the sneezing. I don't want the pulmonary fibrosis. Let's go for sweating. Still don't have an idea where to get cannibalism. Um, let's go for the zoonotic shift. We did unlock cannibalism. Okay, so now we need 25 DNA. Now, with max severity, we should be getting an absolute ton of DNA, so that certainly is something. Um, give me to one more country right now, please. Okay, got that. Cool, let's go for it. This leads to necrosis and cytopathic reanimation. There we go. So, this is where it gets confusing, because this doesn't make any sense. Right? This has nothing to do with SARS. This has nothing to do with the coronavirus. It's just a very, very bizarre decision. Okay, well, let's go for cytopathic reanimation and... Uh, that's okay, I guess. This doesn't do me any good. Do we have the ability to do the zombie hordes and travel around? It doesn't look like it. Um, symbiosis will not get me anywhere close to enough um, stealth to actually break free here. So, I mean, good. We've got these guys, I guess. But if we can't use the hordes to travel, it doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Let's get some uh, bat transmission. Just because it is a lot of extra infectivity. But I think most of the land borders at this point have already been closed down. Um, more random things don't do me a lot of good. I guess we'll go for necrosis, so that as we kill, we continue to infect, just to be safe. Okay, getting a little extra DNA from zombies there. Um, that doesn't do me a lot of good. Yeah, I don't think they're giving me the hordes. Um, we'll go for fever. We'll go for the air and the birds. And the birds again. Just so we can try spreading past those land borders, whether they like it or not. So that's kind of getting me back under control. But we're never going to be able to get to these islands. That's the thing. Um, Alright, we're going to go for some more water transmission in some of the humid areas. So that should get me to critical mass uh, a little bit faster. Ukraine has activated. Okay, we are getting around in Europe, thanks to the birds. So that's working. We have a lot of DNA all of a sudden. Okay. Let's go for some genetic... Uh, sorry, drug resistance, some cold resistance... 
Um, let's go for paranoia that leads to insanity and seizures. Let's go for pulmonary fibrosis. It hasn't helped me much. What's going to get me where I need to go? Let's go for anaerobic us uh, resuscitation. Nope, that didn't help me much. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, what do we want? We'll go for the blood that leads to your genital expansion. It's okay. Um, bats will be better for me. Insanity, tumors. I'm not seeing any way of getting the hordes to travel. And if I can't get the hordes to travel, or I can't get the um, zombies to uh, last longer and stop decaying, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Pulmonary hemorrhage, total organ failure. Nope, that doesn't do me any good. Tumors, coma. I don't think this is a very well-balanced scenario. I'm just going to go out and say it. I think that this is not actually very well put together because it seems like the author doesn't really know what makes a necrovirus than a crovirus. Like, if you're going to go down this direction, you have to give me a way of getting around. Let's go for the random thing and just see if they're lying. There is another random thing. What is this? Let's just see if they're lying. Hang on. Pick this up, and there's another one. Random thing four. What is is something gonna happen if I do this? Are you I think I think they're taking me for a ride. I think they are. Let's go for it. Okay. Nope. Wait. Easter egg. You unlocked an Easter egg, now you can infect and kill the whole world in seconds. God of infect. Infect all humans instantly. Okay. Um that ugh. This has yeah, no. Alright. All right. No, 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 no. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and finish out the scenario. But basically what you've done is made an unwinnable scenario that you kind of have to follow down a quote unquote Easter egg, but it's the only way to victory, which is really not how you should be doing things. Also, I'm looking at this again and saying you did this in such a way that it's nothing to do with the actual scenario you purported to be. This is supposed to be about SARS and the coronavirus, and it has absolutely nothing to do with that. Except for the fact that it starts in China and attacks the respiratory system to start. But the only path to victory go requires going down a zombie route, which makes absolutely no sense. So yeah, based on that alone, I would be a little bit disappointed with this scenario. Now all in all, we did 209 days, we got 19% cure progress, 121,462 points, and 3 stars. <sighs> yeah, no. Um, given that this is actually such a serious scenario around a topic that people are actually, you know, literally dying from, uh, I, I feel like we need to take it a bit more seriously. And this is really kind of just, I, I don't know, it, it, it feels kind of like a clickbait scenario. Does that make sense? And that's, that's kind of where it loses it for me. So I'm going to say, no, I'm not particularly appreciative of that. There are far better scenarios out there for this specific topic. If you want to create a necrovirus scenario, absolutely go for it. But find a way to tie it into zombies. Otherwise, don't use it because it doesn't make a lot of sense. Also, I'm sorry, a let's hide things behind the quote-unquote randomness to then get the instant win-click button. No, I'm sorry, that does not work for me. Thank you all very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and if you would, consider donating to a charity that is aiming to help the people in China and fight against the coronavirus. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.